to the other big story in a sense linked because Congress President Sonia Gandhi today made a rare intervention in Parliament accusing the Narendra Modi government of misusing Facebook and Twitter. The Congress chief raised a new report that has claimed that social media platform Facebook offered cheaper advertisement rates to the BJP compared to opposition parties and also how surrogate ads that spread fake news about the BJP's rivals were given prominence ahead of the 2019 elections. Take a look. The rising danger of social media being abused to hack our democracy. Congress Look, President Sonia Gandhi firing a big salvo against the Modi government in parliament, accusing it of misusing Facebook and Twitter to interfere in India's poll process. Referring to an Al Jazeera report claiming platforms like Facebook are brazenly partisan to the BJP, offering it cheaper deals for poll advertisements. Recently, Al Jazeera and the Reporters Collective have demonstrated how a toxic ecosystem of proxy advertiser posing as news media is flourishing on Facebook bypassing election laws of our nation, breaking Facebook's own rules, and completely suppressing the voice of those who are speaking up against the government. The charge is amplified by Congress MP Rahul Gandhi, who in a tweet took a metaverse jibe at the BJP, accusing leading social media platforms of hyping up BJP's narrative and soaring its campaign reach. If Facebook has a level playing field for all political parties, we don't have an issue. But Facebook is clearly, through these reports, are preferring the ruling establishment, either for commercial profits or for the other ends, we don't know. News ke roof mein propaganda hai rahe hai. Koi companies jo hamare ruling party ke liye, bhaagar pa ke liye, ye sab kar rahe hai. Aur ye thik nahi hu. Nahi hai, kyunki hamare Congress ally Shiv Sena urged Congress to end pseudo secularism to fight what it called fake narrative by the BJP. Mouthpiece Samna said the Congress is unable to fight BJP propaganda, like on issues of hijab and Kashmir files, and must learn from TMC. Samajwadi Party and Shiv Sena. Across the world, there have been reports of social media platforms being misused to spread fake news and to influence elections. Sonia Gandhi's charges now pit the Congress in a direct face-off against global social media giants. Time and again, opposition is alleging that a ruling party is using social media platforms to shape up a political narrative. They have also been demanding that all the social media platforms be reined in. But so far, there has been no progress. Today, when Congress President Sonia Gandhi raised the issue of social media platforms being used to hack the democracy, once again, the opposition was up in arms against the government, demanding that either a policy or some checks and balances should be put in place in order to rein in social media platforms. Vidhar Jain Sabishak, Supriya Bharadwaj for India Today in Delhi.